Hi friends, what's up? How are you guys? Happy Saturday. I'm Deep Basu and I'm back again. I'm going to review Indian Police Force. It's a latest series on Amazon Prime created by our very own Rohit Shetty. It's been directed by Rohit Shetty and his chief assistant director Shashwant Prakash. So definitely I was really look, being a Rohit Shetty fan, I'm sure most of you love his films. And being a Rochari fan, I was really looking forward to watch Indian Police see this uh, Indian Police Force. And by the way, I really love the fact Rochari was working on a cop universe. And being a Marvel fan, MCU fan, I love this you know un this entire concept around this MCU universe, cop universe, where multiple characters they walk in, walk out each other's films, their spin-offs. So when I got to know that Rohit sir is working on a cop universe and we'll get to see, you know, an Akshay a Surya Vanshi being part of Singham. I, we, we also will get to see a Chulbul Pandey part of a cop universe. So I was really intrigued and I somehow thought that, you know, Indian police force will definitely escalate this and we'll get to see a lot more and uh, more intriguing uh, details about the upcoming cop universe created by Rohit Shetty. But frankly speaking, after watching the seven part series, which is around 35 to 45 minutes each, I'm very disappointed. Uh, it was a total snooze fest. It was lame. It was not very well written. It was a no brainer. And overall, the series was on a very superficial level. Their dialogues were very, looked very crafted, looked very amateur. I think his, I think few of his ADs have written a dialogue with due respect but see Rohit Chetty if you if you watch his films including Circus most of his films are quite a no-brainer but being a fan being a movie lover I somehow used to love his movies I loved Surya Vanshi I loved Singham Simba Halaki all of them are quite no-brainer up to some level but the story the comic timing the screenplay few sequences will definitely it, it stays with you a Rohit Chetty, if you, if you have followed his films. But frankly speaking, this Indian police force had nothing. It was so lame, right from the characterization, right, right from the, the execution, the characterization. It was melodramatic, it was cliche. First and foremost, the entire story is very cliche. It reminded me of Surya Vanshi's uh, story. This serial bomber, blast, terrorism. All this has been done to death. I, I really was expecting a, something new, a new take on the Indian police force, the new take on Delhi police. I'm sure, I'm sure they have, they, they could have thought this through. You know, if you have, if you have seen the trailer, the, this entire story basically revolves around, you know, a series of bomb blasts takes place. So this Indian police force, the special force gets activated and they start searching for the culprits. Uh, Tara, uh, Tara Shetty, no, Tara Shetty comes later. So Kabir, Kabir Malik, played by Sadal Malotra, and his boss Vikram, played by Vivek Kobudoy, they both come together and they also joined by Tara Shetty from Gujarat ATS and all three of them, they hunt down the main culprit. That's a mota mota story and what really happened Then we get to see the backstory of the uh, main uh, villain, uh, played by Zarar, no, the name is Zarar, played by Mayank. He is not a bad actor, but not very impactful either. So overall, somewhat I thought the story to be very cliche. Uh, the execution, the performances were okay. It was nothing was very real. The cop looked like superheroes. And somewhat I feel strongly with due respect, Siddharth Manotra is unable to pull off a lead character. Especially in an action film. I'm sure he's quite he was quite good in uh, Shahin Shah. I loved him also. He's very good in romance. But as an action hero, somewhat I feel that he doesn't have that image of an action hero. I think an Akshay Kumar, I think uh, Akshay Kumar, Ajay Devgan, I think even a Ranveer Singh can pull off a proper action hero. But Siddharth Manutu was somewhat a misfit. And Shilpa Shetty's character was totally wasted, totally wasted. And Vivek Kopura, my God, such a wonderful actor. I was so happy to see his comeback in a, such a big series. Uh, by Rohit Shetty, but somewhat he was not well used or utilized. I will not give out spoilers, but somewhat I would really wanted to see much more Vivek Oberoi. His, his character could have been really explored. 
but i i was i was left disappointed and the songs and overall everything was very similar to a rohit shetty film but this i think i think rohit shetty is going to butcher his both his genres his uh, comedy genre got butchered by his last film circus which was so bad now his uh, police genre is also going to get butchered by this indian police force i'm just hoping singam rit again simba 2 and all this makes a lot of sense is more relevant and more in much better than whatever his previous work because i am a fan of rohit shetty and really i don't i really i don't want to see him fail i re- i really root for his films anyway so this is my review for indian police force kuch khas nahi very lame and if you miss it also no problem okay so guys hope you have a great saturday i'll be back soon and i'm i haven't watched atal who me atal me who uh and i don't think i'll ever i'll watch it also i might wait for the ott release so guys have a happy saturday